Hi friends, oh, welcome back to another video. Today I'm taking you thrifting with me again. I am really getting the hang of it. So without any further ado, let's just dive into this video. Now the very first item that caught my eye was this gorgeous chandelier and you might even recognize this because it is a exact same copy as the one that I have only mine has all clear crystals on it and this one has some colored ones now I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw the price tag on this 225 euros and I paid only 50 euros for mine from Facebook marketplace now these two chairs I thought these were very pretty and very nice and they were decently priced at 2750 even though they are not really my style but these can really elevate your decor to a very sophisticated and elegant level I am still on the hunt for something for my dining table and I came across this beautiful crystal bowl. I absolutely loved it but it is too small for the look that I am going for. Now this lamp also caught my eye. I absolutely love the unique look that it has. It isn't something that I would take home with me but I am sure that it is definitely good as a conversation piece. Now, oh my gosh, you guys, uh, this bowl, I absolutely love this. And this is one of the objects that I left behind the next time I went back into the store that didn't have it anymore. So I really regret not taking it with me. things first let me thank all my returning subscribers for all your love and support now if you're new to my channel hi i'm your host arelis if you are interested in how to create a happy home on a thrift budget then please consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button to become a resident of my happy home I always like to go through the glass aisle to see if they have any interesting pieces you can use as if or do a flip on for instance this beautiful glass vase it is very simple but I love the shape of it and the structure that it has with all these lines in it very pretty for a simple decor in your entryway for instance now I also saw this you guys leave me a comment down below if you know what this is it has an opening at the bottom as you can see but I am not sure I absolutely don't know what it is leave me a comment down below chuckle when i see these small figurines and maybe even the people behind them they used to collect them they remind me of myself when i was little i did have a few of my own I saw this little vase and I am trying to bring a little bit of modern pieces into my home and when I saw this I really love the shape of it that it is square and I thought it was really affordable for 95 cents then I also saw this glass vase and I love things that are a little bit unique and different than others and I thought that this was was pretty because the glass wasn't really clear I can hardly pass on a cupcake stand because I think they are so versatile you can use them for different things in your decor and I saw this one I really liked the shape of it and the pattern that it had but the top wasn't really flat so I thought that would be a risk if you put for instance a burning candle on it because that would be too wobbly
Now I also came across Mr. Owl's little brother. How cute is he? If he was in white, I might have taken him home with me. I really love owls and I absolutely love these two and this one in particular I have one similar to this except mine can hold a candle and I thought that the prices on these were a bit too high because I paid only $2.50 for mine I did pick up a few of these home signs in the past and I did love this one with the bark topping and as you can see they were asking 50 cents and originally the entire set was $24.95 so that would have been a good deal but yeah I do have enough of these already but it was nice to see this. also had a wide variety of vintage items now that is not really my style but if it was then i would have definitely struck gold because the prices were really affordable for instance these flat irons they went between 250 and 7 euros and i've seen them much much more expensive than this I also really like this vase, the nice clean modern design on it. I love the shape and the structure. It could use a touch up and as you can see it is a piece from Zero Home. And I think it would have gone perfect in my decor but I decided to keep on looking for something more to my liking. saw this it really made me chuckle i absolutely love this seeing them hug like this it is a pretty piece of art it is not my style but i do think that it was reasonably priced at 12.50 you know that using accessories in your home to switch out the color is the most inexpensive way to decorate your space when i saw these i absolutely fell in love with this color and it made me want to switch my decor color to blue so maybe somewhere in the future i just might do that And here are the items that I picked up from the two stores that I just shared with you. I wanted to bring home the pieces that were the most interesting to me. So let me show you them up close. Starting off with these two vases, I first saw the clear glass one. 
I fell in love with it immediately as I said I love the shape of it and the structure and to my surprise they also had a smaller version with slightly a different color and first I wanted to spray paint the clear one because that's the first one that I found and then when I saw the little one I decided to keep them as is putting them together I think they look very very pretty and very simple in my decor this next piece i couldn't leave this one behind as i said i think it is quite unique because the glass isn't really clear i'm not really sure how you call it but i thought it was a very unique so and i what i like about this is that it is a very versatile you can use this anywhere in your home on your coffee table in your entryway even in my bathroom so yeah i think this was a very nice find If you remember, I did mention in my previous uh, thrift video that if you find a piece that you like but you don't like the color, you can always change that. And that is what I was thinking when I saw this pretty vase. I really love the texture on it. I love the geometric design, the squares. It is this uh, 3D, you know, it is touchable. And I thought it would be perfect if I could just spray paint it white. So I decided to take it home with me. Now I cannot get over the fact how pretty this next piece is. I fell in love with it immediately. I do love the simple design, the square shape, the crisp, the modern look that it has. It is perfect for what i am going for in my home these days and i was so surprised because it was already reasonably priced at 95 cents but turned out that that day all the green tags were 50 percent off so i was even happier now this next piece really draw my attention because i already own something similar only so much smaller mine is glass with white and this one is more of a silver with white as you can see i love the metal on the rim and i think it is such a pretty piece and what i do love about it or actually most of the pieces that i pick up is that they are versatile you can use them in different ways for instance you can use this as a candle holder or as a vase i do think that the price was a little bit too high but i didn't really mind because it is something that for me wasn't a unique piece so i was happy to take it home with me for this final piece i want to share with you it was quite a different story because at my first thrift shop i left this one behind it wasn't tagged so i didn't know what the price was so i decided to leave it then when i was editing this video i saw it again and i thought why didn't i even ask for the price so a week later i went back to the store and they still had it so i was really excited to bring it home with me that is it for this video i hope i could have given you some ideas what to look for in your thrift stores to help you decorate your home on a budget so thank you all for watching and i hope to see you again in my next one really really soon until then always remember to live laugh and love and stay safe bye